Welcome to our channel today, we're exploring the incredible life processes in plants from nutrition and photosynthesis to transportation and respiration, we'll cover it all let's get started. First up, let's talk about how plants get their nutrients. Plants are autotrophs, meaning they produce their own food through photosynthesis. They absorb water through their roots and carbon dioxide from the air through tiny pores called stomata in their leaves. Photosynthesis happens in two main stages, the light reaction and the dark reaction. Let's break these down. First, we have the light reaction. This takes place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplasts. Here's how it works, when sunlight hits the chlorophyll in the thylakoid membranes, it excites electrons, which then split water molecules into oxygen, protons, and electrons. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere, while the electrons and protons are used to create energy-rich molecules ATP and NADPH. These molecules carry energy to the next stage of photosynthesis. Next is the dark reaction, or Calvin cycle, which occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. Here, ATP and NADPH produced in the light reaction are used to convert carbon dioxide into glucose. This process involves a series of enzyme-driven steps. Glucose is then used as energy or stored for later use. Now let's talk about stomata. These are tiny pores on the surface of leaves that allow gas exchange. Stomata let in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. They also help regulate water loss through transpiration. Moving on to how plants transport water and nutrients. Plants have two main vascular tissues, xylem and phloem. Let's start with xylem. Xylem transports water and minerals from the roots to other parts of the plant. This is driven by capillary action and transpiration. Water evaporates from the leaves, creating a negative pressure that pulls more water up through the xylem. Phloem, in contrast, transports the products of photosynthesis, like glucose, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. This transport relies on pressure differences between the source, where glucose is produced, and the sink, where it is used or stored. Transpiration is the process where water is lost from the plant, mainly through the stomata. This process helps with nutrient uptake and cooling the plant. Plants also need energy, which they get through respiration. Respiration takes place in the mitochondria, where glucose and oxygen are broken down to release energy, carbon dioxide, and water. Lastly, let's look at excretion. Plants don't have a specialized excretory system. They release waste products through leaves or store them in vacuoles. Some waste is accumulated in non-photosynthetic parts of the plant or vacuoles. And that wraps up our exploration of plant life processes. From photosynthesis to transportation, respiration, and excretion, plants are truly remarkable. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.